So you just had a baby by C-section and you're probably sitting there thinking, what do I need for postpartum care after having a C-section? There's all these videos out there talking about what you need for postpartum after you've had a baby naturally, but what about you? Your labor was different. You had that baby via C-section, which is totally okay. You still had a baby and you still need to recover and your recovery is completely different than a natural birth. Trust me, I know I have had a C-section and a natural birth, so I have been through both. So in this video, I will give you guys all the things you need to know for your postpartum care after having a C-section. And it won't just be the down there necessities, because there's a lot more to it than that. So hello, if you are new, welcome. My name is Angela. I'm a mom of two beautiful babes, and I'm here to share my home, heart, and faith with you guys. In today's video, we are going to be talking about all things postpartum care for you C-section mamas. And if you've happened to film this video and you did not have a C-section, you can stay with me because some of these things will still apply to you. With that being said, we're just gonna jump into all the things that you mamas need for your postpartum care. First thing I wanna say, congratulations mama on your beautiful babe. However you brought that baby into this world, you did great and you are gonna do an awesome job at being a mom. And right now you're in that weird fourth trimester stage and you had a C-section and you've got a lot of other things going on on top of healing and taking care of newborn. So you're probably sitting here thinking, what in the world do I need to take care of myself? There's a few different things that we're gonna get into in this video and I really hope it's all very informative for you and taking care of yourself. If you like the tips that I have given you in this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos related to this topic. Just wanted to throw a quick disclaimer at this part. I am not your doctor, your midwife, or your OB. Every single situation is different after you have a C-section, so please make sure you are following the recommendations of your doctor first before following anything that I state here in this video. All right, so first I kind of wanted to just get into like clothing and things like that. So obviously with the C-section, you have a scar down below. Depending on your doctor and everything, they usually try to keep it where it would be like below your underwear line or bikini line so it's probably pretty low down there and wearing regular underwear hurt so for me personally i loved wearing the underwear from the hospital i asked for extra and maybe you could try that out if not there are some good high-waisted options of underwear that you could use another thing i would suggest is getting yourself a super comfy robe i lived in my robe for like a solid month at least after I had my daughter for two reasons. One, because it was easier than putting clothes on and two, it was easy to breastfeed because I could just open up whatever side I needed. Those are the two things that I would suggest clothing wise. If you do not prefer to hang out in a robe all day and you want to have some type of clothing on or you have people coming over to visit, you just want to make sure you have loose fitting comfortable clothing. One thing I did wear a ton after I had my daughter was maternity pants. I still wore those a lot. I liked the ones that had the nylon top at the bottom, not that like weird meshy. I will try to show a picture here of which ones I'm talking about that I did not like. I really preferred the ones with the nylons because it was kind of like the high-waisted underwear and the underwear from the hospital where it just kind of like tucked everything in and held it nice and securely. I wore those on days I could not get on that band that they suggest you wear from the hospital, which is another really good thing to have, especially after having surgery because it just holds everything in there. And personally, I felt like my insides were gonna fall out all of the time. So having that on helped tremendously. It also made it easier to get in and out of like the sitting position and stuff. But the one from the hospital was super hard for me to put on alone. I had to do this like thing where I like laid down and like tried to hold and hold. I will link below one that I purchased that was very easy to put on by myself. After having a layout, we did have a lot of people around so I could get help if I needed it. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was listening to your body is very important after having a c-section. One thing that is really good for you after having your baby via c-section is getting up and walking around 
like I said earlier, it is going to be very hard to stand up and sit down, but when you are feeling motivated and when you have a little bit of energy, get up and go for a walk. It is really good for you and the baby to get up and go for a walk outside. Even if you literally only make it like three houses, just getting up and moving around, it helps so much after any type of surgery, especially after having a C-section. The next point we're gonna get into is going to be sleeping. Let's do it. The next place I wanted to discuss with you guys is going to be sleeping. Your baby is going to be waking up probably about every two hours when you first bring them home. So you're going to be doing a lot of time sleeping in bed, waking up overnight, all of those kind of things. So one thing that I highly suggest, if you can get help, if they're, you know, your significant other or a friend or family member that can come stay with you, it would be really wonderful because honestly, when I had a layer, like even twisting the tiniest bit, at first was so hard and it was so uncomfortable so for me my husband slept on her side of the bed and we had the pack and play set up and every time she woke up he grabbed her and changed her diaper and did all of those things before I breastfed her and sometimes he was taking care of her and feeding her because when you first have a baby via c-section you are on a lot of medications i specifically was on i don't even remember some some type of pain medication i can't think of the name at the moment but it was very hard to wake up especially at night because i took more pain medication at night than i did during the day but having some type of co-sleeper and listen before you come after me about co-sleepers the definition for co-sleeping is sleeping with your baby in your bedroom it's not in your bed so that being said there are a bazillion different type of things that you can use to sleep with your baby in your room you could use a type of co-sleeper like this this one i purchased off amazon i will link it below it's great to have even if you're not sleeping with your baby in your bed we did use this occasionally with ezekiel or you could do some kind of halo type bassinet that you can pull over into the bed something like that would be very very beneficial to you if you do not have any help having that baby getting as close to you as possible is really good because trying to twist and turn and all of that is not easy with that scar it's super painful another thing i wanted to mention if you have a swing for your child if it's like very low on the ground you're not probably going to be using it at first we had one of these swings here and I literally never used it when I was home with Alea because I could not get down there to put her in or pull her out. The only time we ever used that was when someone else was home to put her in or pull her out. So if you are looking into something like that to put your child to sleep in, make sure it's something up a little bit higher. They have swings like this that you could use. You could use a little bouncer or anything else. You could even set up a little pack and play in the living room. That's totally up to you and what you are comfortable with. Another little hack that I wanted to share with you guys is something really cool that I've seen while I was looking up research for this video. I personally didn't do it, but it is a great idea. If you live where you have like a ranch style house, you don't have to do this, but I wish I did with Alea. You could use a little rolling cart like this and you could set this up with all of the things that you need for diaper changing, feeding, all of that. So instead of having a caddy here and a caddy there and getting up and going into a specific room to change the baby sometimes you could just bring this cart and roll it all around your house with you you could even set it up in your breastfeeding station well it doesn't even have to be breastfeeding a comfy station in your living room that we're going to talk about right now so you want to have a comfy seat to sit in for nursing or feeding or anything like that throughout the day because honestly you're not going to want to be getting up and down a lot especially like the first four to six weeks it's really hard to stand up and sit down so you want to have a comfy chair like this or in a comfy chair like this so wherever that comfy seat is at whether it's a chair like this whether it's your couch a rocking chair you have in the living room you want to have a few things near you the first thing you want to do before you sit down to stay in this chair for a long time is go to the bathroom 
So many times I sat down to nurse my daughter Alea and I forgot to go pee and I regretted it. But you want to have something near you that you can place the baby in to sleep, whatever that is that you are comfortable with. If you have a bigger chair like this and you're comfortable with the baby lying next to you, you could do that as well. And then the next thing you want to have is some sort of caddy basket. Honestly, you can use anything. I just have the diaper caddy here. And you want to have a whole bunch of different things in here. You want to have something to entertain yourself. Of course, you're going to have your phone, probably your TV remote, a good book. Or if you're big on like journaling, you could do that as well. You're also going to want to have coffee or tea, whatever you prefer. Or if you're a pop drinker. And then something to keep yourself hydrated. You want to get a good water bottle to have nearby. If you are a breastfeeding mom like I was, you are going to want your nursing pillow easily accessible. I also have a basket of blankets back here because you could just curl up in this chair and take a little nap yourself if you felt like it. You really do want to sleep when the baby's sleeping, especially those first few weeks. Sleep is so essential to recovery for your body after you've gone through a traumatic surgery like this. Some other things that I kept in the basket nearby was hand sanitizer, I kept lotion, a pacifier, I kept a few snacks nearby because if you are breastfeeding you get hungry a lot so it's good to keep some snacks in here. Obviously diapers and wipes. I also have receiving blankets, burp cloths, a little pad to change the baby on. I kept nipple cream in here. The first few weeks when you are nursing, you want to be applying that as often as possible. If you are not a nursing mom, something that would be a good idea to keep in a caddy like this would be a little formula dispenser and an extra bottle full of water. Or you could keep water bottles there. I personally never heated the bottles up to a certain temperature when I was feeding my baby's bottles. We just use like room temperature water. We usually keep a water bottle on the counter for the bottles, but that is your preference. If you don't care to have it to a certain temperature, you could keep a bottle here and your little preset formula dispenser. That way, if you've been sitting here for a while and they're ready to feed again, you have everything you need right here because truthfully, like I said, you're probably gonna spend a lot of time sitting in this spot because getting up and down those first few weeks are very painful. The next spot that I'm gonna take you guys is going to be in the bathroom, and we're gonna talk about all the essentials you will need in that area for your postpartum care. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. The next station we are going to be talking about is all of the items you need for your down there business after you had your baby because I don't know about you, but me, after I was told I was going to have a C-section, I didn't honestly think that I would bleed down there. Don't ask me why I had that thought in my mind, but I did. So what I did and what I still do, so I have a little basket or a little box like this, and I kept all of my postpartum care in this baby because it's cute. I can keep it out. I just store it right next to my toilet. And every time little old mother nature pays a visit, this little basket comes on out. One thing that I found that worked really well after I had both of my kids were these always infinity pads. I will definitely link these below. They have like level one through four. I got the highest level after having my kids. And I was like, wow, I'm like not bleeding at all. This is amazing. And then I would take it off and I'll be like, oh, JK. There it is. They have this cool little like something in there that pulls it all away kind of like the baby's diapers do. So you're not having anything on your skin and if you're like me and you have sensitive skin that's really great because personally I don't like wearing these when it's the time of the month but you can't use these bad boys after having a baby even if you have them with c-section you still don't want to use these for at least six weeks. So these little guys were great. I also had in here some nice good old hemorrhoid cream because after you have the baby it's hard to go to the bathroom especially when you're on pain medications so make sure you are hydrating yourself drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water body armor is good that is something i drink a lot after i had my kids especially if you're breastfeeding you need lots of hydration the other thing that i had kept in here was the extra panties that i received from the hospital so if i did have 
a leak through, which never happens once I switch to these bad boys. I mean, I'm not going to wear them for like five days in a row, so I would change them out. And I had them all here, nice and easy to get to, so it was easily accessible. I didn't have to try to like bend and get under the sink or anything like that. And I just wanted to add in this little extra bit here that yes that is really all that i use postpartum i realized that a lot of people use other things but i was just very minimal i guess with what i needed postpartum all right there was one thing i wanted to mention i completely forgot about in the bathroom you're gonna want to grab some extra pain medication ibuprofen is really good because it does help with swelling as well depending on your doctor midwife ob whoever you have they may prescribe some for you but if they do not grab extra i personally do not like taking any type of medication so as soon as i could i stopped taking my my narcotics but I did continue to take that ibuprofen because you don't realize how much that pain medication actually masks the pain until you stop taking it so that is all of the tips and tricks and insights that I have for you ladies that just had your babies and all of the postpartum care that you will need after having your baby via c-section if you guys enjoyed this and you like the tips that i'm sharing with you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment and let me know when you had your baby what you had give me all of the details i love hearing about baby births and how they happened and all of that kind of fun stuff if you enjoyed my content please make sure to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here i will see you all in my next video i love you so much bye Sneak attack. <laughs> ah, funny baby. <laughs> Let's go do the outro. <laughs>